Hey guys, so today is sort of a really sad and disappointing video to be making. And if you've already read the title, you already know that unfortunately it's because I will not be reviewing a Daemon X Machina for the Nintendo Switch uh, for the channel, and I actually will not even be buying it or playing it myself. Um, and just before we get to the reason why, I just want to put this out there, it's not because it's a bad game. Okay, I don't want you guys to think that I'm taught that I'm dissing the game or saying that the game the product itself is not is not a good game Okay, because it's the opposite I actually liked the demo myself and I was actually looking forward to purchasing the game and reviewing it for you guys uh, And I was pretty confident that the end product was a product that I was going to appreciate Okay, uh, but if you guys have been following the drama over the last sort of 24 hours it's that unfortunately Marvelous Games, which is the company that makes Damon X Machina, has been claiming a lot of content on YouTube from creators that are featuring gameplay footage in their videos, either reviewing the game or talking about the game or hyping up the game. And just to be clear, we're not talking about, for example, someone that bl bl blindly takes a trailer and re-uploads it to their channel. That, I agree, is a infringement on uh, someone's IP, and that is a video that should be claimed by the, by the creator of the game, no problem. I'm talking about fair use videos, videos with commentary almost from the start to the end, with simply gameplay footage that has been filmed and produced by the person making the video themselves, uh, being claimed by uh, Marvelous Games. And to me, that is, it's already been established that that is fair use. That is the review of someone's product. If I grab a toothbrush and tell you what I'm thinking about it, showing the toothbrush in the video isn't stealing someone's IP. Same idea for uh, reviewing a video game. If I'm showing you gameplay footage to give you an example of something that I liked or didn't like about a game, that is not infringing on someone's IP. I'm not providing you with that gameplay footage as a replacement to buying the game. I'm letting you guys know what I think about it. And um, I find that, like I said, unacceptable, okay? And let's just be clear, this isn't about making money for myself because as small as my channel is, let's be 100% clear, when I buy a Nintendo Switch game right now, I am not making money, I'm losing money. The only thing is that to me, that's a game that I would have most likely bought anyway. And number two is I do this as a hobby and as a passion because I like sharing my passion about gaming with people out there. Like I like sharing my passion about building computers. I do a lot of different type of content. And uh, right now, let's be honest, this isn't because it's a replacement for my job. I have a full-time job and everything. But the reason I find it's really important that we talk about this, even being a small channel like myself, is I find this is a really bad precedent. Even Nintendo themselves tried this a while back and they realized that they came around and they realized that, hey, this is free publicity for our games. Whether the review is good or bad, we have to deal with it. But at the same time, when the reviews are good, this is free publicity for our games. This is eyeballs on our content. We're actually gonna sell more games by letting the creators make these videos than trying to infringe when the videos are done in a respectful way you know, towards our IPs. And what, where this is really dangerous and why we're talking about this is that the big channels out there that you guys maybe really like to watch, the Game Explains, those type of channels that uh, make content and that depend on these videos as a revenue source, if they're trying to silence these channels or not let them review their games and you guys like watching that content, what if every creator starts doing this, every game maker starts doing this? That means that these channels are gonna have to shut down. They won't be able to produce high quality videos. You know, I, I'm not saying, I know the quality of my videos is not at the level of a game explain, but I like watching their content as much as probably you, do, you guys do out there. And if we want them to keep making that content, they have to be able to monetize their videos from it or they can't put all that time into them. And what, you know, if every game maker starts doing this, basically those companies are gonna have to shut down. So this isn't something that I am ready to live with. And secondly, um, what I also would find interesting is to find out, are they claiming every video out there or are they maybe claiming only the reviews that are so-so or negative about their game? And that's an even scarier thought. 
because right now a lot of people go to YouTube to have independent and honest reviews, okay? And now we're at a point where creators, if they're getting paid for a review or if the video is sponsored, they have to let you know in their video. So you know if you're watching a honest review or if you're watching a paid advertisement for the game, you know, made by a creator. However, if companies start claiming videos when you talk negatively about their game, but let you monetize videos when you talk positively about their games, that's an even scarier thought. Because how are you guys gonna trust the next review you see out there, knowing that the content creator in his mind might be saying, hey, if I give them the honest negative points about this game, I might get my, my, my ability to monetize the video removed. That's a really scary thought, because that's actually a way to get paid reviews, but underhandedly. And I find that being a really scary thought. Now, I know Marvelous Games have defended themselves, by the way, by saying that it's, Mar that it's uh, Marvelous of Japan making the claims or whatnot, but that's not an excuse. Get that stuff straightened out. Here in North America, it's called fair use, and it's, all, and it's already been established that it's acceptable. So you know what? As a professional company, that's not an excuse. Get it sorted out. And I just want to repeat, I actually liked the demo and I liked the game, which is why this is sort of so disappointing because I was ready this morning because I'm so small that I don't have access to, you know, pre-release copies and stuff like that. I was ready to walk down to my local game store, pick up a copy, play through it as much as possible today and get a review out there for you guys in the next few days. But that won't be happening now. I won't even be buying the game for myself. And, you know, maybe down the road, if I get a used copy in a year, I might pick that up because I'm not actually contributing money to Marvelous since it's a used copy. But we'll see. We'll see at that point. But you know what? If Marvelous straightens their stuff out, I'll be the first guy in line to buy a copy. So this is really not a diss about the game. I want to be clear on that. And at the same time, it's not a call to action to any of you out there. I don't want you guys to, you know, do whatever you think is proper about this situation, but I'm not asking you guys to boycott the game or anything like that. I'm just asking you guys to think about what I discussed in this video, because I think it's really important and it's a really important precedent that doesn't have to, that has to be established and has to not be repeated by other game makers. Uh, so anyway, you know, if you guys think strongly about the subject like I do, please leave them in the comments down below, positive or negative. I'm just asking one thing, be respectful. Don't, don't, don't go outlandish because it's not, you know, it's no use. But if you do want to discuss this, leave the comments down below. Just be respectful about them. And, you know, let's hope the next video I put out there for you guys is on a more positive note. So, as usual, thank you guys for listening. And I hope I'll catch you guys in my next video.